So I have some pretty decent gear for my YouTube setup. Nice lighting, a good camera and lens, but this, you see this? This is my microphone. It's a DD D3 Pro, which I bought used for around a hundred bucks. And while it sounds pretty good, it's not anything special. Okay, here's how it really sounds. Before I was using AI, now I'm not. This is what it sounds like with AI on, and this is what it sounds like with AI off. See, the thing is, when you are upgrading your gear to make higher quality videos to grow your YouTube channel, you prioritize certain things, right? Camera and lens, obviously, the lighting, the audio. But one thing a lot of us smaller creators don't realize is that not only do you need a good microphone close to your mouth to make your audio sound better, you actually need to treat the space you're in. And that can get expensive. The point of this video is that I record in a room with horrible acoustics. More specifically, I have removed all the disgusting carpet to reveal concrete, so sound bounces around here and sounds super echoey. And because of AI, now I think my audio sounds pretty good. Most rooms that have carpet are much better, but still, if you don't have a lot of stuff on the walls, sound will bounce around and not sound so great. Yada yada yada, let me introduce the magic of AI. The good news is, is that with the click of a button, you can turn your mediocre audio from an untreated room and make it sound like a high quality recording in a sound treated room. I mean, maybe not to trained professionals, but to the majority of your audience, they'll have no clue. In my opinion, depending on the topic of your channel, most of your audience probably really doesn't care about your gear. They wanna see you and hear you in high quality. And by clicking this little button, I've been able to put off sound treating this room, which is good because I'm moving next week and this will be the last video I ever make in this room. Happy set. I would have felt a fool if I had spent a bunch of money treating this room only to leave it. Also, I've considered upgrading my audio to something more high quality, but what's the point? Why spend all that money when booming this mic and using AI voice isolation sounds so darn good? Here's the bad news. I was hoping this feature was on the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I checked and it's not. The studio version of Resolve costs $295 US. So at the end of the day, if I was on a budget, which I am. I would rather buy a cheap mic, like a Rode or even this Deity D3 Pro, and buy Resolve Studio, which has a lot of great features, including voice isolation. Or I could have used that money to buy a better microphone, which might not make a huge difference, or sound treat a room, which I'll try and do in my next place on the cheap, but still, the amount you'd have to spend for a much better microphone and sound treating the room, it's probably cheaper to just get a cheaper mic and use AI. Anyway, I just wanted to share that I use AI voice isolation in every single video I share on my channels, and I think it sounds great. It's just an awesome, easy way to bump up the quality of my production without a lot of effort or funds. I think I've been able to offer a certain quality of audio, which sounds like it costs a lot more to make than it actually does. Have you been able to notice the difference in sound in the video on your speakers? I edit and watch usually on my computer, so it'll be interesting to hear how it sounds on other devices because it's a huge difference for me. Will it be as dramatic of a difference for you? I wonder. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Or are you an audio person and think that maybe AI isolation sounds like crap? I'd love to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. That's it for today. In case you missed my last video, check it out here. Otherwise, here's what YouTube thinks you'd like to watch next. See you next time on the Sad Studio.